Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rhino Rack Universal Side Loader, part number RR-RUSL. This Universal Side Loader from Rhino Rack has a nice soft foam pad here so that when you load up your kayak or your canoe or other small boat, it's not going to rub or scratch or damage the surface of the kayak. Also the pole here which connects to the end of the bar does telescope to accommodate different heights of vehicles and it's also going to help support that load that is put down onto the lateral bar when you're loading up your boat. Now the brackets that secure the bar to the crossbars can be installed to accommodate the Rhino Rack Aero Bars, Euro Bars, and the heavy duty crossbars, making sure that it'll fit to pretty much any configuration. Also fits with Thule and Yakima bars. So before installing the side loader, you'll first need to determine what kind of brackets you'll need to install onto the bar which will attach to your crossbar. Now, if you have aero bars or the euro bars or the rhino rack heavy duty bars, in the included instructions, the brackets are numbered and labeled to determine which brackets you'll need to install onto the bar. And it does come with an Allen wrench so that you can remove these Allen bolts and reinstall the brackets according to your roof rack setup. So here we have our brackets already on the bar, ready for our aero crossbars, which we have assembled onto our vehicle. So now we'll just go ahead and show you how to install the bar onto one of your roof rack crossbars. So the bracket with the soft foam pad is gonna rest on the top side of your roof. So this pad is designed to protect the roof from scratches or abrasions in case this bracket would come off and hit the top of your roof. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the bar kind of at an angle and kind of twist it to get that bracket underneath the bar. And then we'll simply just clamp it on, making sure that this bar is parallel to the crossbar. You can see this clip is engaged around the top of the bar. And then the one with the pad is engaged on the underside of the bar. And again, if it would fall off, that pad is there to protect the roof of your vehicle. So now with this bar assembled onto our crossbar, next we're gonna go ahead and take the padded bar, which is gonna be inserted into the open end of that bar. We need to go ahead and push in this pin, and the pin needs to be facing the bottom. So we'll slide that in, push up that silver pin, and then you'll hear a little click when that pin engages, and then we're ready to install the next piece. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install the telescoping pole. Now the pole telescopes to be able to accommodate different heights of vehicles. So what you'll do is you'll just twist the bar and allow it to come out. And then you'll twist it the opposite way to tighten it. And then again for this side as well. So we'll go ahead and come over to the side of the vehicle where this bar is overhanging and there's a hole at the end of this bar. With the pole telescoped out, we'll go ahead and slide this silver pin up into this hole, then telescope the pole out, lift it up just a bit, and then tighten it in place. And this is gonna help when you put the kayak on, it's gonna support that downward load so that this bar doesn't bend and potentially tear up your roof rack. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and show you how to load up a kayak. What you'll do is you'll simply place just the top part of the kayak onto the pad. Also, when you're loading up your kayak, you'll notice this angled piece of steel right here. It is angled kind of outward. So when you're hooking up your kayak or when you're putting your kayak onto the side loader here, it's gonna help prevent it from slipping off and falling. And with the front of the kayak in place, we'll just lift it from the back. And then what we'll need to do is pivot it and rest it on the back bar. And then we'll come up to the front and then pivot just the front of it and rest it on the front bar. And then with it on the bars, then we can easily adjust it just to kind of get it even, disperse the weight evenly and then we would just use some straps and tie it down. The carrier allows for an easy removal. We'll just simply remove the pole, set that aside, and then we'll pop off the padded arm. And now with this easy design, it simply just twists off. And now with our carrier all loaded up and in three small pieces here, we'll just throw it in the back of the car. Then when we're finished with our kayak all loaded up, it does come with this nice convenient carrying case. We'll just unbuckle it and then be able to throw the three components into the bag and throw it into our vehicle. 
And now with our kayak all loaded up, that'll complete today's review of the Rhino Rack Universal Side Loader, part number RR-RUSL.